So in about four hours, I'm going to be turning 18. By the time this video comes out, I'm already 18. It's the day of. So make sure to say happy birthday down in the comments down below. 18 is the transition point in your life where you're going from child to an adult. That's kind of scary. When you grow up, you have no cares in the world. You don't have to worry about nothing. Now, this one magical number, 18, you are now having to worry about taxes. And then when you move out, you still have to start worrying about a ton of bills. And that's just a lot more stress. If school is stressful this is gonna be a million times more stressful i know everything will be okay but the scary thing is being stressed all the time and not knowing what to do I don't intend to go to a college, but I might go to a community college. The reason for that is college is a waste of money. You're paying a school to tell you what to do to get a piece of paper that is virtually pointless depending on what degree that you want to get. Like if you get a business degree and you go through four years of school, you just wasted four years of your life right there. And then even if you are going for like trying to be a doctor and you go to university, they still force you to do credits like electives so if you want to be a doctor you'd be studying something with like the body but you would still have to take an english elective and a math elective it's just more pointless knowledge going into your head if you want to be a doctor that doesn't make any sense i feel like community college would be best for me because i don't know what i want to do i mean obviously i want to do youtube but i know that's not a stable choice i mean i hope it blows up for me i just find it silly that for the past 12 years of my life the majority of that was me learning nonsense knowledge that I did not need to know. Yeah, you could make the excuse that high school kind of helps you with life, like learning about how to be on your own, like, you know, the bell schedule and make sure you have a schedule and make sure you're getting places on time. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. But when you're sitting there in the class listening to a teacher about pointless knowledge, you're just wasting your life when you could be out learning other things that will actually be a benefit of you. Like, you could be on YouTube wondering how to fix a car if you want to be a mechanic. You're not learning how to be if you want to be a mechanic, you cannot learn how to be a mechanic in most high schools unless if you go to a separate program that's going to take you on a bus to a different place. And more than likely, you have to pay for that. It's not included in the high school kind of package. And then on top of that, high school isn't free. Your parents have to pay for your school. And if you don't go to school, then your parents are going to get in trouble. Then the government comes after your parents if you don't go to school. So they're basically forcing your parents to pay for you to go to school and learn pointless knowledge. Most of it is. I believe high school, like high school and a little bit of like maybe seventh and eighth grade of middle school, you don't need to learn any of that stuff. Like why do I need to know the Pythagorean theorem or what y equals mx plus b? Why do I need to know that? If I don't want to become like an engineer or some mathematician or whatever you need to know that about. Why do I need to know imaginary numbers? My algebra 2 teacher in 11th grade, legit, when he was teaching us imaginary numbers, he said, you're never gonna ever, 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 you're gonna use this in your life unless if you specifically want to go to be in that certain career. But regardless, you'll never ever use this ever in your life. But it's part of the curriculum and we have to teach you it. I find that so silly. School in America is weird. I'm just gonna go to community college, maybe. I might even not. I'm just gonna try to get a job, try to get some money. If I figure out what I want to do in the future, then I'll go to college. Guys, if you're listening to this, you don't have to go to college straight after high school. You can go back to college when you're 30 or 40 or like anytime you can go back to college and get a degree. Save up your money. Don't go in debt. Go into college. For kids that are younger than me, enjoy your life. Enjoy watching football. Enjoy watching basketball as a kid. Enjoy hanging out with friends. Don't let petty drama ruin friendships. Go out and risk doing things. Like, if you want to do YouTube, go do YouTube. Do it early. Do it when you're very young. There's not going to be no consequences. When you're a kid, you have very little consequences. Just do what you want to do. If you want to be a freaking astronaut, go try to be a freaking astronaut. <laughs> if you want to be a photographer, go to your school and ask your uh, photography teacher to borrow some cameras or something like that. Like, when I was younger, someone told me that. Just take the risk. I feel like I'm an old man. Go out and risk it. Do whatever you feel like you want to do. That's enough of me rambling if you guys enjoyed my rambling make sure you smash that like button hit the subscribe button with the post notifications on hope you guys are staying safe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye